Andrew Morrison here with another Straw Bale Minute. Now you've heard me talk over the last however many months about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half of plaster. That's kind of a general statement. Um, and when you're, when you're plastering a straw bale wall, you're never going to have a consistent layer of one and a quarter inch all the way across the house. You'll have areas where there may be a hole in the straw, and so you'll end up with an inch and three quarters of plaster in that area, or an inch and a half of plaster in one area and seven eighths of an inch somewhere else. The smoother you get your walls during the plaster prep, during weed whacking and tamping, the better because you'll have less of those um, undulations, which will ultimately mean you'll use less mud. It'll take less time to do the plastering. Now, again, if you're doing a building that you don't mind having those undulations, you want to see the natural uh, curves of the building, then that's fine. You can follow it with your trowel. If you're trying to get a, a, a smoother finish, a more... Uh, quote-unquote professional looking finish and you're going to be using darbies and rods and doing all sorts of things to get the walls uh, smooth and even then that makes a really big difference it's totally worth the effort in the bailing phase of things to get things as flush and uh, smooth as possible so you may see an inch and a quarter in some areas you may see an inch and a half in others but the the variance will be much less talk to you next week